So now I want to make a mathematical definition that's very important. I'm going to define an attractor of a dynamical system. And the definition is, as you see, an attractor is a set A in state space that has the property that for every initial condition in a neighborhood of A, that initial condition X will approach A as T approaches infinity. In other words, it's called an attractor because it attracts nearby state points. And all nearby state points in a certain neighborhood get swept to the attractor as T approaches infinity. That's the definition. Now, we've already seen an example of an attractor. We didn't call it that. But what is the stable equilibrium point? I mean, look at that red dot. That's one point, the point zero, zero. That's A. It's a subset of state space. It's one point. And notice it has the property that nearby points are swept into that attractor A as T approaches infinity. In this case, the neighborhood is the whole space. Every point is approaches that zero, zero asymptotically. And so zero, zero in this system is, we're going to retro name stable equilibrium point, we're going to retro name it point attractor. Now we have a second example. A stable oscillation, like we just saw, is another kind of attractor. Now the set A is that red loop. And the red loop is called a limit cycle because in the limit, it's a cycle. <laughs> and it's called a limit cycle attractor because it is an attractor. Near points off the loop get drawn to the loop as time approaches infinity. And that becomes a stable oscillation, also known as a limit cycle attractor. So a fun example, we saw the musical instrument as our first example of a limit cycle attractor. While we're on the subject, let me show you an example of the same physics blowing on a spring to create a stable oscillation. Um, it was a limit cycle attractor that brought down the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Maybe you've seen this footage. But shortly after the bridge opened, here in the early 1940s, disaster happened. The bridge started to go into large oscillations. I mean, that's not good. And that's what it looked like from the bridge itself. And these were stable oscillations. Alas, they did not damp out. They continued at a significant amplitude and ultimately destroyed the bridge. Uh, but the important thing is the physics and the math. It is 
Rayleigh's clarinet. Here is the spring. There is one big old clarinetist blowing on that and creating the stable oscillation uh, that eventually destroyed the bridge. <laughs>